have a question for Megan or Pino. What do you want kids to remember you by? Kids? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, just to be yourself and believe in yourself all the time. Um, I think that's the, the most important thing. We're all unique individuals with our own special something, so let that shine. Thank you, Macy. All right. Thank Next, you. we have Jacob. Jacob, go ahead. Uh, hi, guys. Thanks for taking time to chat with us. Um, this is for anyone free to answer, but with Megan uh, being the first one to grow up on CU3 OGs, does she have to pay into some sort of retirement fund? Uh, <laughs> that last person retired gets to collect the winnings? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> yeah. All right. She's paying in for it. I'm yeah. not paying in. All right, I'll start paying in. I can do I'm that. Get here. Yeah. 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 Well, enjoy it. Yeah. That's all just. Yeah. Now see the fruits. No. We haven't really thought of that, Jacob. But now you make you make a valid point. Actually, yeah. maybe we should. Um, maybe someone's got a four hundred one k. I'm not sure they're matching, but <laughs> yeah. You know, you know the now. About. Yeah. Yeah, I'll match your guys's. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. So this question is also for Megan. So after the conclusion of the playoffs and your overall season, what is next for Megan Rapino? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> um, no, um, I mean, as a, <laughs> uh, a little rest, of course, but um, I mean, I think a lot of the same, to be honest. I have an amazing partnership with Nike that I feel like we're just getting started on. Um, Sue and I have an amazing production company that we can't wait to really get into. Um, I mean, I've been saying I'm, I'm going to be a part of, you know, this next phase of women's sports, uh, not just soccer, hopefully, but even beyond that. Um, I feel like, you know, not just me, but so many players in this generation have been such a huge part of, like, building the foundation and sort of the, you know, the beginning stages of what is a really exciting time in women's sports and definitely in the NWSL. So I am not going to miss out on the fruits of that labor and like just disappear and not be a part of it. Um, I think I have so much to offer and um, you know just the, the way that we can all speak to it so clearly and so intimately. It's obviously something we've done for a very long time, but um, I'm really looking forward to you know being sort of one of the, the business architects in this, this next phase. Yeah. Um, this is for, it, it would be nice if uh, the three of y'all could individually answer. I just wanted to know a little bit about the actual soccer today. Um, you know, not being able to get a goal um, or clinch um, the playoffs. Was it the emotion of the day or what kind of uh, was difficult today? Um, I'll go first. I think, uh, yeah. honestly, I I don't think the emotion of the day kind of hurt us, if that makes sense. If, if, in fact, the, the opposite. I think the first 45 minutes, I thought we played um, some really good football. We were dangerous. Um, gone to the final third. And I, I just think it's just that last little final third bit of quality where cross connects with a run and it goes in, you know, I think that it's not been, that's not been our favourite thing this entire season, scoring goals has been difficult for us um, and I think that that was the same for us today, um, but I, I did do not think that, obviously everyone knew what was happening today with, with Pino, but everyone is so proud of her that it's not you know, we still know that she's going to show up for us on the field, even though the ent entirety of the city and women's soccer was here just to watch her, right? And, you know, we're not worried about whether she's, the moment is too much for her. There's no moment that is too big for Megan, you know? And so, no, I don't think that it affected us at all. Um, it was just one of those games where we pushed and we pushed and we pushed and we just couldn't get a goal. Um, and it's something that we have to take forward into our very last game because we really do. We're going to have to win next next week, and if we can improve on today's performance, I'm not I'm not really that worried about that. Um, I guess it's my turn. 
Um, I gotta start with the sunglasses, if there's anything specific about them, or you just, you don't like the lights, they're too bright in here. Nothing? Well, they say just you know, I, I think it's a nod to my extensive <laughs> sunglass collection. <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> specifically. Just wanted to check. Um, and I, I want to ask this question to, to all of you, um, but to Megan first, because you, you aren't often lost for words, and today you said you were. Um, what does this moment, the, the crowd and, and the love today, mean to you, and then also to, to you, to you, Jess and Lou as well? Yeah, it, it is hard to put into words. Um, you know, spending so much of my life here and such, um, you know, an important part of my life here in just this one club with these people um, to see, you know, I, I didn't even see all that was happening today. Um, there was so much going on, but to see um, the way that the city showed up and to, you know, ex express that, I guess, gratitude or love towards me is really special. Um, it's really overwhelming. Like, I don't really know how, it's like I know that I'm, a, you know, a, a well-liked figure and, um, you know, an important, you know, person in this game. I, I'm not trying to minimize that or like, you know, trying to play too humble. I, I do know my impact, but it's one thing to know it and then the thing to really feel it and see it and see some of the signs and, um, you know, see pink wigs and just see what, you know, what that means to people. So, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to put just like this kind of deep sense of gratitude and joy and thankfulness for being able to have a moment like this into words, I think. I think that's kind of the hardest part. It's like, who do you think? Literally everybody, I can, you know, look out in front of me. There was, you know, like a hundred people, friends, family, um, you know, former teammates, teammates, um, people that I work with, people that I love very much. So, um, yeah, it's like either talk for like five minutes or like, you know, 105 minutes. So I tried to keep it at five today. Yeah, I mean, this is, honestly, we've known for a while and this month's been hard. <laughs> I text yeah. people probably every day that, you know, there's a moment you think about or there's an instance that happens in training locker room and you're just like, that's probably never going to happen again. You know, these are like really special moments. And I don't think we ever took it for granted our 11 years here, like one bit. Like that's what's really, I think that's how Pino lives, right? She lives in those joys. She lives for those moments. And she really like pushes us to also do that. Um, I think it's undeniable, like her positive impact that she's had on the city. Like, I mean, we've been playing all year and we get 35 today. Like that is specifically for this one. Um, our club, I mean, our foundation is because of her. Um, we built everything around her, so, you know, I mean, this is the first time, like, we've seen a retirement like this, so everything's really new, and we're going through it, and I think it's been truly incredible. Like, it's, I'm in awe. <laughs> like, she says, you know, she, she knows where she stands in the world, and but it's still, like, really special to, like, take these moments in and just be like, Holy cow! I mean, 2013. So that this was gonna happen today. I'd just be like, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> like truly, what? So you know, to see how far everything's come, and that's a big part of because of her. And I think like every you deserve everything. And I think hopefully you felt that today and love today. It's important. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, sorry. Back here. Um, I'm wondering if the final result kind of put a damper on the day or if you feel that like the celebration is still kind of holding strong. The what? The result? Sorry, did the final result oh, kind okay. of put a damper on things or do you still feel like things like the you know, the celebration of Kino is, is still strong uh, in the building today? I don't think it's fine. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I think we played well too today, so that like also helps but don't say we don't care about the season or yeah. results, okay? <laughs> yeah, but no, it didn't. But yeah, today was just bigger than soccer <laughs> at the end of the day, and we want to be present in those moments. And I think, it really I think too, yeah. it's helpful that we, you know, we just, we're not out of the playoffs yet. We still have another game, it's all in our hands. And so uh, from that perspective, it's like, okay, would a win be better? Yes. But are we still alive? Yes. <laughs> keep it and they're celebrating Megan. Probably, equally 
probably is important to stay in the playoffs. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and so, yeah, we don't. We don't. Go uh, the much. three of you are being called the OGs, and you're out there playing 90 minutes in a scrappy <laughs> game on short rest. Oh, uh, you're telling you, us. Uh, comment on uh, how that's like potentially a leadership by example, and what kind of legacy you're like hoping to leave for those younger teammates that are on the pitch with you, like Dickie and all. Hugs and back. Got your glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think. I think we. You know, we have we have to show up. You know that it is. It's it's really a non-negotiable, and we will work and and communicate and sometimes screen um, to, to pull us through in these moments, right? And, okay, we, like I said, we didn't get the win today, but there was a lot of, there's a lot of stuff today in our group specifically that, that I haven't, that I've been missing a little bit. We've been lacking in, in, in certain areas, and I felt like today was the opposite of that. Um, and I'm not talking about a football perspective, I'm talking about togetherness, communication, work rate, working for each other, just doing what we've always done. This, this season has been so weird, it's been so stop start, so up and down, um, injuries left, right and centre. And so um, it's important that we show up, in, specifically in these moments. And I felt like, you know, I, I, I question sometimes how it is for Meg right now to um, to have everything and and try to enjoy it, but also try and go on that field and perform, you know, whilst knowing that all you know, everyone is here just just to watch you play, and also we're still a team that that needs her to play and to perform at a high high level, and she does. She's still she's about to retire from one of the best careers I've ever seen, and she still shows up today trying to drag us through these games and it, it epitomizes who we are to this group and, and how I think lucky people are to be able to watch this and feel it and see it you know and she still does it for us and, and we do it for the group and that's our job right and I think that today really I think epitomized that more so than than, than anything. Okay, one more from me. Megan, you're so well known for making the conditions for the current generation of women's pro soccer players better, but the number of kids that were here today who said that you inspire them to play soccer, you inspire them to live authentically, I, I guess how special is it to know that your impact is not just confined in one generation and that it's you know spanned across many generations? Yeah, I mean, that's really, that's what matters. That's what, like, really matters. Um, of course, we love playing and, um, you know, we want to make the league better in, in every way that we possibly can, but um, it's a game at the end of the day, and it's something that we get to use to do what I feel like the point of life is, is to um, use what you have to better yourself and make people better around you and to, you know, leave leave things in a better place than where you found them. So to me, that's like the whole point. I think that's what I take the most pride in, um, you know, throughout my entire career. And it, it, it's definitely not lost on me seeing, you know, little kids in the stands, um, seeing family, seeing people. Um, it's so much different than it was when we all, you know, started playing. So that to me is, is really special. Um, yeah, that's been the, the most special part of my career, I think, is just to see, uh, not just me, but I think, you know, this group, um, you know, and I think just specifically in the NWSL, the players taking on so much um, and having to deal with so much and just, like, the beautiful perseverance that we have to, you know, drag ourselves and in, in this league to so much... Um, higher ground in, in such a beautiful place um, that we feel like, you know, now it's like, wow, this league really has an opportunity to, to grow and to thrive and to reach its potential and for players um, to be able to 
do that themselves and in turn continue to inspire the next generation, inspire people, um, you know, it's not just kids too. I, I feel like I, I hear that from, you know, adults and um, everybody alike. So yeah, that, that to me is like the whole point of, of life for me um, is to, to make things better and to use whatever you have to do that. And, um, you know, seeing the, the fans tonight and um, just seeing the, you know, the different signs of the pride flags or um, people just, you know, getting to be themselves through this game, um, just as I have, you know, I've done, you know, sort of the same thing, um, lived out so many things through, through this vehicle. So to be able to see that, you know, around and see how much things have changed, um, I think there's, that's, that's a big part of the piece that I have kind of just walking away from the game is how beautiful that has been. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.